So, now we're on to reverse percentages and compound interest. But first, what is compound interest? Well, to answer that question, first we need to know what's the difference between compound interest and simple interest. Alright, so we have a number, say £100, and it increases by 5% every year. And for this one, we'll do simple interest. Simple interest means every if you get five percent per year, it means every year you get five percent of a hundred. Yeah. So you put in a hundred. The first time you're going to get five percent more of that. So, so in the second year, you'll have one hundred five pounds in total. One hundred five pounds. And then the next year, it will be one hundred ten because it keeps basing it over your first figure. So that'll be one hundred ten pound. You're just adding five pound on because that's five percent of a hundred every time. But, if that was compound interest, and that would be different. it works differently. It doesn't just work off the original value you put in. Every new value, it increases that value by 5%. So, for the second year, you'd increase that by 5%. So, that would still be 105. However, on the third year, you'd increase that by 5%. Which is harder to work out in my head, but it would be more than 110 it pounds. Would. And this gets higher and higher and higher the longer you do it for, so compound interest. Better. Is in the long run, absolutely. Now, another thing they like to do with compound interest is rather than increase like a bank, they like to depreciate. De yeah, and that's opposite of going up, going down, which is which is sad. And that's what he's adding to our Aston Martin, isn't it? Yeah, because we always have high speed chases. We do, we have secret agents. We are secret agents. We'll keep that secret. Yeah. So, how much does an Austin Martin vanquish cost? About oh, three hundred thousand pounds. Yeah. So if we say you buy a car for this much money, which is quite a lot of money, and every year its value depreciates so by say fifteen percent, every year it becomes fifty yeah. percent less worthy of the full price. So that's what actually happens with cars. Yeah. And this will be compound interest. Yes, this is all compound in this chapter. You do what you normally do, you yeah. divide the percentage by 100. So you want to get it to a normal number, well a decimal. A decimal, which is 0.15. Now, this is where it gets a bit different. Normally, if you want to, if this increased by 15% compoundly, you would add that to 1 and you'd times 300,000 by 1.15 to see how much it increased. But now yeah. it's depreciating, what do we do? Well, you have to take it away from 1, so it becomes 0 0.85 times our original value. It does, so you'd have 300,000 times 0.85, which is 1 minus this yeah. decimal. However, compound interest doesn't mean anything unless it's more than one year. So if it's, say, four years, that's when it makes a difference between compound and simple. So what do you do if, say, you want to find the value after four years? After four years of it depreciating by 15% each year, how much does it cost? How would you answer that, Triv? Well, you could times that by 0 0 .0, 0 0.85 and then do it again, and then do it again for all these new values you get, and do it a fourth time. But that's the same as putting this to the power of the amount of years, in this case four. Which is much easier. It is. So, should we go through a second example to see if you've got it? Okay. Think of something I could buy that's quite costly and could depreciate in value. Hmm. Many things. I think quite expensive coffee is not very expensive, is it? But a coffee machine. A coffee machine, yes, and that would get worse for time as well. Say it costs five hundred pounds to buy this coffee machine. Coffee era one's nice. Yeah, it's very good. And it depreciates by five percent every year or per annum. How much does it cost after ten years? So, first step. We convert this into a decimal. It's always so the first five step. Over a hundred equals 0 0.05. It's a depreciation, so yep. you do one, one minus, minus this figure, which is 0 0.95. Then we times five, 500 by 0 0.95 to the power of 10. Because that's how long it's for. And that will give you the value after 10 years of this £500. Yeah, and all of this is for the calculator paper, so you will need a scientific calculator there, the indice button. Yes. 
Yeah. So that's this chapter done, I think. I think it is, yeah. So we should just mention, just in case, because we haven't mentioned it in a few videos now, if you have any questions, because it's starting to get into the A stuff a lot more now. It is, yeah, it's the B grade stuff, but it is rising. And you have any questions, you can message us on Facebook or yeah. leave a comment below. Either way, just give us a buzz, really. Yeah. Actually, your buzz. Oh, thank you. No, 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 I was giving you a, I was giving you a buzz. I said I, was, I have a question. Oh.